Hi, welcome to Coffee Break with Researchers. Today, I'm having a coffee break with Diana Alvedalen. She's a doctor in innovation engineering from Lund University. Coffee Break with Researchers presents you with cutting edge insights on regional development and innovation. We ask researchers directly and in a personal manner about their work. We make scientific knowledge accessible to all. Jana, thank you very much for accepting this invitation to have a coffee break with me. How are you doing? Thank you very much. It's great to be here and uh, I'm doing very well. Thank you. Great to know. I'm enjoying, as usual, a very nice and dark this time black Colombian coffee. Which coffee are you having? Today I have a lovely cappuccino. Great. Jana, I want to talk with you about a very interesting paper you wrote in which you do a, a critical review of entrepreneurial ecosystems. Could you please tell me what the paper was about? Sure. So the paper is about um, the concept of entrepreneurial ecosystems. They became very popular and it was mentioned a lot. So uh, a lot of policymakers uh, were uh, keen on um, applying that concept. Uh, however, it was also a bit confusing and um, researchers at that time also had a hard time to explaining uh, all the bits and parts of that concept. So um, in uh, our paper we uh, did assist we went through systematically uh, different research papers to explain what were the shortcomings of that concept uh, at that time. That sounds great. So I imagine that the, the key notion of your paper is um, entrepreneurial ecosystems. Do you mind uh, giving us a definition of this concept? Yes, of course. Entrepreneurial ecosystems um, are ecosystems that support or not entrepreneurship in a region. And uh, you could think about um, Silicon Valley, which is a popular example, or um, 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 another region um, like Stockholm or Lund, uh, where um, uh, there are different actors and factors are coordinated in a certain way uh, that they um, support or not productive entrepreneurship. So we talk about actors, factors, links between them. Uh, it uh, happens in a region and uh, we uh, promote um, productive entrepreneurship. Thank you for that. I, that's, a, that's a very important concept indeed, and, and being in Lund, very important to define it there. Um, I want to know uh, now a little bit about the findings of your paper. Can you tell us something about them, please? Yes, of course. So the findings were about shortcomings, as I mentioned, and um, we found that cause and effect um, in the framework was not really clear, it clearly explained. Another thing was that um, we were talking about entrepreneurial ecosystem it, like a network. And we know a lot about networks through network theory and we have network tools, but those were not yet applied to that concept. Another thing were institutions. Institutions such as culture um, or uh, laws and regulations are very important, we know that, but also that uh, was not really uh, discussed um, in that concept yet in um, scientific literature. Multiscalar approach was not taking up either, which means that um, not only uh, looking at networks in one region, but how also how links outside of the region to national and global level um, play a role. Also institutions play a role not, not only at regional level, but also at national and global levels. And that is important to understand how that impact entrepreneurship. Comparative analysis uh, or comparative approach was not taking up either too much, uh, which means that um, uh, researchers were focusing on certain regions and explaining that as uh, singular cases um, and more comparative uh, studies um, would be good to have. And last point was dynamics. Many discussions were about um, static view on entrepreneurship ecosyst entrepreneurial ecosystem and uh, it's really interesting to know how we arrived there, how did um, 
Silicon Valley became what it is, or how did Stockholm became what it is, how it started, um, developed their networks and became uh, stronger with time. It's so interesting. Thank you for that. I, um, I would like you please to tell us a little bit about your personal experience or your personal motivation when you, when you wrote this paper. So uh, this is a concept that uh, supports or not entrepreneurship and of course um, that is very interesting to know because I've been an entrepreneur myself, I had a company and then I studied masters in entrepreneurship. So um, anything that can help um, entrepreneurs uh, dare to start a company and uh, um, get support in those questions are, have been interesting to me. That's, that's great to know, honestly. I'm, I'm also a entrepreneur myself and I really enjoyed your reading your paper because of that. So finally, I want to ask you about the um, implications for, for policy makers um, after your paper. So um, the relevance to policy um, is that um, quality of entrepreneurship differ between different regions. And, um, and that means that we have um, different types, we can expect to have different types of firms in, um, as I mentioned, Silicon Valley or Ohio or Stockholm or Lund regions. And, um, and we should understand not only how the firms themselves um, act and what they need, but also the system they are in, the ecosystem they are in. So policy makers should not only stimulate the entrepreneurial firms, but also understand the whole system and address bottlenecks in that system. Yeah, that's really, really important indeed. And uh, thank you very, very much for, for that paper, for, for all your valuable insights. And of course, for having the time to chat with me. And I wish you, Jana, all the best. And those were all my questions. And hope to see you soon in a coffee break. My pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in more details about this academic publication, you can find here the link below. Find us on Twitter, Facebook and YouTube or listen to our podcast on Spotify. See you next time. Bye bye.